Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have plant mail again. And this mail also comes from Robert again. So let's just get in guys, get into it. Card is in here, I'll read this later, off screen. Also, I'll clean up this mess later. Hope everyone is doing well. As you guys are watching this video. This right here is a begonia. This is a, an eyelash begonia. Guys, can you see this? This is so pretty. I don't have this one in my collection, so I'm very anxious to see how this one is gonna do for me. You guys know and I've been on a begonia kick lately. Out of all the ones that I did purchase, only one has since died, and that one was the, the fire flesh. So that one is not with us anymore. It's passed away. Let's see what else is in here. Oh my. Try to open up the smaller things first, guys. So let's see. Oh my, this is This is another begonia. I'm just fixing it around a little bit. And this is also an eyelash begonia, if you guys can see this. These two look much different. I'm not sure if it's just the eyelash begonias come in different um colors or whatever. You guys can see this one again. This one, this was the first one, so. It looked different to me. Wow. These are nice full plants, guys. So, I'm really happy about this one. I'm gonna have to get some more white pots from Amazon, which I'm going to do. I'm probably gonna order them after this video. I finished filming this video. See what else is in here. Okay, let's see this. All wrapped individually. Oh wow. I think I know what this is. This is a Asian violet blue flower. So I think this is some type of African violet. I have to do some research on this one, but this get into the leaves, guys. Like this. Get into that, it's so unique. The plant feels kind of furry, hairy. Nice texture to it, almost like Velcro or velvety type of feel to it. It actually feels like some type of fabric actually too. So this one is so pretty. Um, uh, this one grows blue flowers. As it says, I'm gonna have to do some research on this. I've never had one of these, but it's definitely a pretty plant. So, definitely happy about that. Okay. Let's see what else is in here. Let's just clean up a little soil. This is, uh, this is a philodendron. Um, I actually forgot the name of it, actually. So there's not no label in here, but I'm gonna 
post it in the description box. It looks very similar to a um, philodendron bipedophilium, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So this is also a climbing philodendron, and this this plant has a little dirt. I'm gonna clean it up. Don't pay attention to that, guys. One, two, three three growth points in this one particular plant. So I'm gonna place this on a moss pole. I have already purchased, well, the cocoa core moss poles, whatever you call them, I'm gonna place this on one. I already got them, I ordered them last week, so they're here. I may have to get more, I have four left right now. I think I'm gonna need more. This is a plant that I've been wanting. It's been on my wish list. I just have not got around to it. If you guys can guess what it is. So, let me move this out the frame, guys. This is a tetrasperma. So I finally got mine, so definitely very happy about this. Very, very. I'm also going to stake this on a, a moss pole. Just look how thick this, um, look how long this stem is. So this is going to start climbing in no time, guys. I've seen this in so many videos and I've definitely been wanting one. But somehow I just haven't gotten around to getting it, but it was on my wish list somewhere in there. I'm, I'm so excited to see how this is gonna turn out. So, okay. I just love plant friends. You can't really go wrong with a plant friend. If you want a plant friend fall out, something's wrong with you, because plant friends rock. And uh, what is this looks like? I'm gonna have to find out what this is, but this also, he also, Pack this in the package. Might be some type of watering thing. I'm gonna, once I find out what it is, I'm gonna try to link this in the description box or place it in the description box explaining or just telling what it is. Um, I really think it's some type of watering, something, hydroponics, maybe. So this, this, this was a very, um, Great gift, and uh, I so appreciate it. As always, um, let's see. And I also ordered something else, guys. So now I've extended a little more growth space to my New York apartment. So, and I was going to purchase a. Soul Tech Light, but that was a little out of my budget, especially in these tough times we're having now. So uh, I went the alternative route and got a Russell Light. It looks very similar to the Soul Tech. So, guys, hold on, open it up. So, this is just gonna hang for my ceiling. I have a little, I think a 36 inch table. So I'm gonna just place this above the table and let it shine on my plants. See that's LED. And this light was only $100. So the Soul Tech is like $200 and that's just out of my budget right now. Totally out of my budget, so. I'm gonna do a video after this once I get the light set up and I'm gonna show you that setup, guys. So, hope you guys join me on the next video. I will have that, the setup, how I put it up and what's growing underneath of it, so. Thanks, thanks friend. I really appreciate it a lot. So, everyone have a great night. Thanks for watching.